for us. First and foremost, it's finally here. Going into this night, where do we stand? This is where we stood coming into the night. 268 to 204, so clearly an advantage for Secretary Clinton. Take a look here. If Donald Trump wins tonight, no matter who they voted for, take a look at these numbers here. 21% say they'll be concerned. 37% say they'll be scared. This is what both candidates want. They want to be living there starting January 20th of next year. Uh, Florida has been going back and forth, back and forth. Get just changed here. again. It's only 11,000 vote lead just now. It changed. Math on your feet. I like this. The Empire State Building in New York City. Take a look at our running tally of the electoral vote. Anderson, this night is turning out to be a real nail biter. All along, the Trump campaign has been saying that Florida's must win for them. Absolutely. And, and I mean, it, they it, can't it, win without it. Donald Trump will carry the state of Florida. You know, I'm, I'm guessing that the people in Brooklyn, they're probably, they're, I can see their fingers That's probably. That's the Hillary Clinton headquarters. Uh, yeah, fingers probably bleeding because there's no more nail to bite. Uh, there are, I wouldn't call anything encouraging for Hillary Clinton at the moment, to be honest with you, my friend. Wolf, the scene here is so different than it was a few hours ago when people were happy and relaxed. I have been looking around the room at people who are stone faced. Some of them have been crying. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president. This is the people rising up saying it's time to listen to us. It's time to listen to us in Michigan and Wisconsin and work for the people. Hillary Clinton has called Donald Trump to concede the race.